Assalamualaikum I'm going to continue with chapter 8 uh, title retailing dalam bahasa Melayu ni adalah peruncitan if you have your book with you uh, page 138 in chapter 8 there are four learning outcomes number one definition of retailing and classification of retail operations Number two, major types of retail operations. Number three, non-store retailing, and number four is franchising. Okay, we proceed with learning outcome number one: definition of retailing and classification of retail operations. Retailing involves all the activities directly related to the sale of goods and services to the final consumers for personal and non-business use. When we shop for groceries, item, books, gift, and etc., we are involved with retailing. And as we know that in Malaysia, we can see that there are a lot of retailers that came in the markets and provide goods and services which is to accommodate the needs and wants of the Malaysian consumers. I'm sure that you have come across these brands. Tesco, Aeon, Parkson, Bata, Kamda, Sengheng, Guardian, Watson, Pohkong, MPH, Popular, and etc. These are an examples of retailers that actually have been in Malaysia for quite a long time. So in chapter 8, I will discuss more details about retailing and try to give an example based on the Malaysian market. Classification of retail operations. Retailer establishment can be classified according to its ownership, level of service, product assortment and price. Number one is ownership. Uh, hard millet. So there are three types of ownership. Is it the retailer is an independent retailer? Or number two, is it a chain store? Or number three, is it a franchise? Independent retailer means that the business is owned by a single person or a partnership and not operated as a part of big company. Examples like bakery shop, laundry shop and etc. Number two is chain store. Stores that own and operated as a group by a single organization. Examples like Kamda, Nagoya, Jekyll, um, Pasaraya Ku, Pasaraya Hari Hari. And number three is franchise, which is all of us know. Examples like KFC, McDonald's and etc. Which is owned and operated by an individual but are licensed by a larger supporting organization. In later topics, I will discuss further about franchise. Number two, classification of retail operation by the level of service. Is it the retailer is a sell service or a full service? Example, if you went to exclusive stores like in the KLCC, most of the exclusive store is actually a full service retailer. It means that when you walk through the store kedai you can see that the shop assistant will assist you and will help you in terms of buying their goods and services and on the other hand is the self service retailer which is everything is done by the consumers examples like mcdonald's and kfc and even right now mcdonald's have their self service order which is you need to go to their lcd screen and order for yourself and pay there and then you just pick up the meals from the counter. Number three, classification of retail operation is by the product assortment. Assortment bermaksud keperbagaian, beraneka. So it's actually based on the breadth and depth of the product line. Some retailer just sell a single and very narrow and very narrow product line. And some retailer sell many different types of product lines. Examples like if you go to Toys R Us, you can see that they just 
sell toys and if you go to Alexan you can see that Alexan only sell sports products but if you go to kedai RM2 there are almost everything you can find in the kedai RM2 and then number four classification of retail operations is by looking at the price normally department stores like Parkson and Eon typically charge a full suggested retail price means that the price is fixed as compared to a discount stores like factory outlet reject shop the price is normally a discounted price which is much cheaper and discounted from the retail price so retailer are classified based on these four factors which is the ownership the level of service product assortment and price